Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I remember back in the day, I used to use Windows PowerShell, which is bundled into both Windows 10 and Windows 11. I used to use PowerShell to run commands and scripts to remove stubborn default apps, like back in the day, Cortana or phone link just to mention two examples and if you are finding yourself using powershell in windows 10 and windows 11 and you are running a lot of scripts and commands then i may have good news because microsoft power toys is getting an update shortly in our next version where currently we are sitting on version 0.76.2 and with version 0.77 which we should be getting uh, quite soon and um, microsoft is putting the finishing touches on a new power toy called command not found now because it's still early days and this hasn't rolled out yet to the stable if we just head over to a screenshot provided and um, here we can see if we just zoom in here command not found it says a PowerShell module that detects an error thrown by a command and suggests a relevant WinGet package to install if available. So this is going to be an interesting one, as mentioned, especially if you are using um, PowerShell on a regular basis. And here we can see in this example, it says the term Vim is not recognized as a name of a commandlet, function, script file, or executable program. Check the spelling of the name or if a path was included, verify that the path is correct and try again. So basically, what this is going to do in a nutshell is uh, in Windows 10 and 11, because PowerToys is available from the Microsoft Store for both OSs, uh, it will inform you about um, any missing component and suggest installing it using WinGet, as we can see from the example provided. And we can also see that if you make a typing mistake, a typo, it will also suggest the correct correction for that. So and this may be good news if you are using PowerToys, running scripts and commands on a regular basis. And at this stage, though, um, it seems that this feature is going to be turned off by default, um, as it does require PowerShell 7.4 which is not bundled by default um, in Windows 10 and Windows 11 so basically if you do turn this feature on in power toys um, obviously then it will then require you to download PowerShell 7.4 or later to be able to use this feature but nonetheless just bringing this to your attention and um, because Microsoft is focusing a little bit on power toys currently we are posted um, uh, yesterday in fact in my region that the keyboard manager is to going to be getting new features and a visual redesign which is a feature that remaps keys and shortcuts and i'll leave that video down below so um, if you do use power toys on a regular basis we are expecting keyboard manager to get those upgrades but i don't know if that will roll out with the next version but um, it seems though that this um, new feature uh, for power toy command not found is going to make its way into version 0.77 and obviously when that becomes available i will let you guys know so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one